Rob, one of our Facebook friends, uh, Pat, said he'd been monitoring that area and there have been some 3.5, 3.9s for weeks now. So he felt, you know, this kind of was brewing. Right, you know, and, and, and if you look up Tonopah, if you just Google it right away, you know, on the first page, it will mention the Tonopah testing range. So a lot of people are going there. Could this been some sort of test or something like that? Well, that's certainly something to consider. Uh, because it seemingly happened out of the nowhere. Other viewers have noticed uh, activity in the area, and I want to show you something that's very revealing about what happened there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graphics. Now, what you can see on your screen is that this is a map of all the faults uh, in the area, and the red ones are the ones that have been active within the last 150 years. So geologically speaking, that's basically right now. And you can see where the earthquake happened. There has been some recent activity. So it's not out of the question that this is just a natural earthquake. And of course, with the number of aftershocks that usually tells you what's going on. Dry and warmer today, we're going to be looking at 80s instead of 70s like yesterday. I want everyone to be aware that this system coming in is not some piddly little thing that's going to come in and come out and no big deal. No, this is a legit storm. We're talking about half an inch plus for all valley locations, a couple inches of rain at least in the mountains, and maybe I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up with four to six inches of snow over the mountain passes Monday into Tuesday. That's probably enough for chain controls. Starting off in the 50s, I'm out in my own backyard right now. I'm certainly feeling it. Uh, and what we're going to be looking at is a nice little warm-up to average today. Hour by hour, this is what it looks like at the Gilmore backyard versus the Karlmark backyard. And uh, what we're going to be looking at today is winds out of the northwest, so kind of breezy, a warmer day ahead, but overall a nice day and a dry day. Same thing with our Saturday. Saturday is going to be a dry day. But what's going to happen is that we're going to very quickly move into a rainy pattern. Now, today is going to be dry. Tomorrow is going to be dry. But I want you to get a quick look at this system coming in because when you actually see the scale of it, you'll say, okay, this guy is now, now making some sense to me because there it comes in Sunday morning between uh, 9 and 11, I would say, roughly speaking. Rain in the mountains at first, it's going to last all the way through Monday and a little bit left over into Tuesday. Remember, during the storm, you can always stay into this uh, to stay tuned with all the information on our ABC 10 app. Back to you. All right, I'll get on that right away. Rob, thank you. We'll be